Hi, Davi here, man. Today we have a new episode in the... I think I'm going to put this under the art podcast series because I do want to just hang out and talk about something because I do feel like I need to say this out loud. Uh, just for context, I have been uh, working on some brushes and I did find a way. I saw this tutorial on Twitter or X and I found a way to create... Well, I basically learned how to do it from that video, but essentially you can make brushes kind of like this. Let me just show you. Right? You can't really do this in, say, Photoshop. It's very unique to Clip Studio Paint. Now this one, the colors from this brush is from the actual texture, our actual photo. But you can also create one where, obviously, you pick your own, right? Uh, but this one, the the under color or this a second like the secondary color in this thing here is also reflected on the main. Like it's mix, it's a mix of both basically, right? So there's that. But you also have like a generic, br not not gener generic, but a a more solid brush where. It's just one color, essentially, right? But let me just check my task manager here because I feel like my laptop is kind of slow. Jesus Christ. Uh, Because sometimes there's this program, maybe it's a virus or something. But if it's on, if it's running, like I have to constantly end that task under the task manager. Okay, it's not on, so maybe it's just me. But yeah, so I, I, it's so interesting. Basically, just go to the, the sub-tool settings of your brush. And um, for example, look at this. Even though I'm selected or it's selected in blue, the reason why it's orange is because, or red or orange, is because it's from the original photo. So I thought that's interesting. And I, I had no idea you could do this in Clips to be Paint. Uh, but also you have like a mix of both. I'm still learning how to use this or create stuff like this, so it's not going to be perfect, but I think... For example, you can see now it's not just black or dark gray. There's a bit of like that secondary gray that's being reflected, right? So I think it adds that extra bit of like texture, texture. Um, and I do think it looks a lot like oil or acrylic paint, which is cool. Right, look at that. Oh, 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 shit. Right, and if you want to have a more solid brush without like the just one brush, right? Where it's just one color, you can also do that. Right, look at that. I had no idea you could do this. And I made a couple and uh, and I think that's why I prolonged my my brush update. Because <laughs> I'm going to add this, by the way. Uh, I'm kind of late already. I should have posted like the brush update as, as soon as I was done with the couple, but uh, because of that quick tutorial I found on X or Twitter, I was like, I need to try this out. And I sort of spent like a good amount of time playing around with this thing. And if you want some good photos to base your brushes off of, I do recommend like sites like Pexels. Uh, my favorite is Unsplash or Unsplash, sorry. U N S P L A S H, um, and Pexels is P E X E L S Pexels. Um, and it's just, it's just cool. And so I was basically stuck doing this sort of thing, right? Playing around. I mean, it looks so like interesting. Can Photoshop do this? I mean, if you need a reason why you should try or use, um, you don't have to quit Photoshop. I mean, I still use it, but it's not my main thing. It's uh, I use it most mostly for post processing. Uh, but if you need the reason why you should try or use Clip Studio Paint, this should be a big one. You just have way more playful settings for your brushes, right? Look at the look look at this! Oh my fucking! God. Again, the colors are from the original photo. I can um, try this. 
And you can always change the secondary color, obviously, here. Right? Look at that. Oh, my. Oh, 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 oh my fucking. <laughs> Anyways, I did want to say something today aside from this. So basically, I'm just providing some kind of some kind of context for, you know, what's happening in the background. So as I as I work on these brushes and sort of just organize them, um, before I upload them, uh, I just want to talk about something. So I just wanted to do a bit of both in this session. By the way, I have some nice coffee with me. And I do use creamer. Uh, I love creamer. I know it's bad, but fuck it. Anyway, so I was watching this. I'm uh, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna move all of these, like these types of brushes, in a new, like place, so I can sort of uh. Anyway. Yeah, I was watching the. I guess I I felt kind of sad today. <laughs> Where I, I ended up becoming somewhat, not sad, but somewhat is melancholic or something. Uh, I think it's because I was watching, I think, the Olympics. And it's a bit of everything, actually. But you know how you open social media, like Twitter or X, uh, YouTube, uh, whatever your social media platform is. Uh, in the first, like, you, you can go from being inspired to eventually becoming like demotivated or un uninspired or just like sad because yeah there are there, there's tons of like inspiring content that makes you want to you know draw paint make art and everything do your own version of that thing right but sometimes you become like you realize how far you are sometimes like i was watching this uh it's a different video it's not really in my lane but i think she's an artist too like she mentioned how she was she's 26 now and she has like 13 million subs <laughs> on youtube and i'm like what the fuck like is she like she's so far ahead and i know i i've i, I don't have the full story right but sometimes when you see these sorts of like bits of information even though it's a facade and you're not seeing the whole story it doesn't change the fact that you feel like oh shit i'm so behind like what the fuck and it doesn't help we tend to focus on the extreme stuff meaning the top like 10 top 5 top 1 so the standards are just so high and we can say oh it's like wrong to do that or to focus on that but guess what once you actually see these sorts of things you can't help but sort of see this, not sort of, but you will see this, feel this gap of where you are right now to all those people you're, or you've been exposed to. And it's very instant, like you don't even try to think about it, it's just there immediately. And you're like, oh shit, fuck. <laughs> and... Um, Sometimes you like when when you see this sorts of content or like immediately sort of feel lost and like sort of doubt yourself like what am I even doing? <laughs> What's the point, bro? But you know, I, I know this happens often anyway. Like, this isn't my first rodeo. Like I've, but it's still something like, oh my god, this sucks ass. <laughs> Do, do I need to rename this? I may have to. I haven't renamed this. I have to rename all of these because I'm not satisfied with the name, but also this one. Oh my god. Anyway, but it's not that difficult. So I'm done with these ones. They're like sketching brushes. These ones are like. Uh, they're more like charcoal, graphite look. They have, they have that vibe or pastel look. These ones are more painterly, I guess. And then these ones are the, are the new ones. Um, basically, the more experimental ones, which I've been working on the past day or two. Or day? What? Um, anyway. So, yeah, I just... Um, maybe you're going through the same thing where 
you're just being bombarded like it happens when you open social media it's so fast like you go from wanting to add to the culture you know art culture by making your own shit because you've seen some amazing artwork and you're like you know what i'm gonna draw something today and add to that you know story and then eventually you keep scrolling because you almost can't stop scrolling right it's so tempting and then you see like people just being ahead of you even the olympics yes it's nice seeing people win but at the same time it's a reflection of how i'm not them oh wow <laughs> pain like i'm just not there bro like i want to have my own win like is it bad but then again, I, I don't even know how that what that looks like. I mean, I have an idea, I guess. Um, fi financial stability, being able to live this artistic life. You know, I mean, I have those you know goals. But the, that takes time, and it's more of a guide. Um, that's something long term. Like you can accomplish it via long term. Like, it takes time to accomplish it, basically, so. But you can't help think about those things. Like, oh, shit. Like, all of these people are winning, and I'm like, fuck. And it's not just that. Like, sometimes th these people are in, like, stable relationships. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm not even ready for that. Like, how am I supposed to feed my future family? Oh, my God. Being a starving artist, oh shit. The pain. And so many other things, you know, like. Uh, like other world shit that you have to face anyway. Because it's not just art. I, I know sometimes we can stress about this thing, right? You know, this whole art thing but at the same time there's like way more than that outside of art or this creative space that we have to deal with and i'm like <laughs> uh, i don't like this one it seems kind of boring this brush yeah i'm not feeling this one either so i'm gonna delete these oh this one's okay You know what? This one's kind of okay too. It's like a, it just adds a bit of texture. Texture. This one's weird. So let me delete this. Yeah, it's like. Let me just drink some coffee. You know, this is what people say don't rely too much on your feelings because it's so easily changeable based on your environment based on what you see and uh, i do like or I, I you know as you keep doing this sort of thing like you, you do get that experience but and i think it does get easier over time but it still hurts <laughs> and the best thing is to just focus on the work um i've heard people say that sometimes you don't have to believe in yourself all the time Sometimes you, you sort of have to block out the noise and just focus on putting in the, like whatever the requirements are you've set for yourself. Sometimes sometimes that's just what you need. For example, if you're not feeling like the creative person that you think or you say you are, then just focus on doing your minimum quota. Maybe it's doing a video a day or doing one sketch a day or filling up like one page, one page of your sketchbook or just doing a bunch maybe 30 15 thumbnails of something like whatever your quota is sometimes you can't really imagine like like you don't have that inspiration that motivation to or you don't feel like you're an artist in any kind of way so if that happens i think it's just good to have like a certain number of things to do like a quota to meet and in that way you can kind of just turn things off in a way, you're kind of turning your heart off. I know that that sounds kind of cold, but you know, you're, I'm 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 kind of a sensitive person, I would say, and uh, sometimes I have to turn it off and just 
sort of block out the noise and be somewhat stoic and that does help get me through uh, certain emotions right okay I like these ones this one is okay this one's a I'll call this a rake uh, should I call it oil I think oil it's a good name for it. We'll just call it oil. Oil rake. So I'm not sure how the, how long this video will be, but fuck it. Hopefully you're listening to me and doing something as well in the background. Um, or hopefully you're listening to me in the background as you're doing like a sketch or drawing. Um, I want this to be more of a chill session. And people have... I do see those comments. Like, peop like people will say stuff. In my comments saying like they like the chill they won't say it in all videos but in videos that this applies to they'll say they like the chill vibes so the fact that they're commenting means they just like the chill vibes and maybe i should do more of that uh, because there are times when they do like the art reviews where i feel like i'm rushing the video maybe i'm panicking a bit which is so funny, I've done that for so long, but sometimes there are videos or times where I just like panic. Like, what's there to panic about? You know what I mean? Like, Jesus freaking God. This one, I don't know. Should I keep this? It feels kind of flaky. Oh, I know. I'll call you flaky. Ooh, genius. You're like a flaky. And I haven't even posted like the product review yet. Like I already recorded like the video on my phone, you know, like the unboxing parts showing the like what's in the box and everything. But I'm like, bruh, I need to edit it. But before that, I decided to work on the brushes first because it's kind of late now and I haven't updated it yet. This one is more... It's a, a solid painting one, meaning you don't see a lot of like spacing in between. So it's easy to paint with it. This one is more like a, a supplementary thing, right? Same thing with the flaky one. Do you see the amount of spacing, the amount of spacing there is? It's harder to like paint with it, like paint solid stuff. It's more of like a supplementary brush. This one, it's the same thing. I'll say it's it's kind of rakey, but it's a thick rake. What the fuck? Sorry. By the way, I was surprised when... Uh, or with the, the last art process video because... Even though it's like an hour plus long, people still watched it. Um, oftentimes, you know, people say that you can't... <sighs> That long form videos don't really get as much views, but sometimes it's easier to just do that instead of like cutting the video and um, or making a time lapse version of that thing and then doing a voiceover. Like to me, that's like extra effort. This one's more like like it's more of a, like an extra detail thing, like ending like a signature sort of thing where you're adding your last marks right and you're like oh so we'll say we'll call you detail or ending something oil end <laughs> so uncreative you can always change the title by the way or the text to suit your needs this one it's we'll just say a texture 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 right? so because of this th this finding out of a new way to make brushes using the ribbon feature uh, it just it looks cool I mean sorry <laughs> So if, I'll, um, I'll try to link the video of that guy if I can, but who knows if I can still find it. But look at this. I've seen the similar strokes made in like web, webby paint. 
Um, and I would recommend the work of Daryl Mandrick. He likes to use that program, Webby Paint. Okay, this one's a painting brush. This one's also a painting brush. So this one's also a, it's thicker, way thicker, right? Look at how there's less white, meaning it's mostly solid. So we'll put you on top, maybe. Solid. Kind of solid. Uh, this one's kind of a rake. Almost a rake. We'll call this one oil solid. Solid. The second one seems dry, so I'll say that. Um, oil dry. This one is... What is it again? It's like, um... Scrapey. I'll say that. Scrapey. Scrape. Oh, scrape. Yeah, I just felt like... <laughs> um... Doing kind of... I just felt like talking about something as I do this work. So, in a way, I can process my emotions and my thoughts this way. Because sometimes that's what you need. You need to talk it out to be able to process it. It's kind of like writing too. Um, it gives you that sense of uh, clarity. And by putting work out there... Oh, this one's a texture. Look at this. Look at... Oh my fuck. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh. It's over. I'm like, I'm gonna use this in my artwork. Look at okay texture. <laughs> um, and yeah, it's just um shit. I'm kind of running out of a. Uh, I'm I'm forgetting what I was supposed to say, or was gonna say, but texture. We'll just say two. And we'll put you on top along with the number one. This one, you can still paint with it. Although there is a bit of spacing or white space in between. And by the way, again, the photos, I mentioned this already. Unsplash, Pexels, it's free. Um, I'm not sure what to call this. Since there's space in the middle, I'll call them middle or mid. Oil mid. Oil mid. There you go. Yeah, sometimes when you're exposed to like lots of stuff, I think this is a, a reminder that you have to be careful with social media. You know, I've been looking back at my most productive days. It's when I wasn't focused on Twitter or X. And uh, I, I see less of it on YouTube because I do have like my watch history off. Um, so I don't get like recommended videos as much. And uh, and when I'm on YouTube, I tend to focus on my on my own channel and on my own dashboard. And if I'm obsessed about something, it's really more about like my, like, my views, my sub count. And you know, my, my, my revenue sort of part like everything is just on that but when i go to twitter even though that's where i find a, a good portion of artists and i do find some inspiration and all sorts of interesting um content oh yeah um i do get distracted and i can get lost in the scrolling part fuck anyway this one is more of like a it's it's a texture it's hard to paint with it because it, you see that? It's great for a supplementary thing. It's like a splatter in a way. Look at that. Let's see some red. Oh. Look, oh, oh shit. Look at the oh. Artist. Uh well yeah, we'll call you splatter. Oil splatter. Oil. Oh. 
so that's something I have to consider. Like, social media is dangerous. I mean, it's so powerful. I think that that's a better way of saying it. Like, one moment you're inspired, one moment you're distracted, one moment you're motivated, one moment you're depressed. So I guess just be careful. And, uh, you know, take, take into account what works for you or what you tend to do when you're around this thing. Oh, you can paint with this one, but it does have a dry effect. Like, it sort of fades out. Look at that. Oh, sh oh shit. But, oh. Oh, shit. Our artist. Fuck. It goes along with the other dry. Let's use the this, this one. So we'll call this one oil dry too. And we'll put this guy along here, right here. Here you go. Oh, this one is color. Um, blue, orange. You can't change the color for this brush because again, it's based on the photo, right? But it's a great filler thing. I mean, you can always change the color via the um, the adjustment layers, you know, hue saturation, stuff like that. It's a great way to start a painting, I guess. Right, look at, oh, chaos. So we'll call you blue orange, oil blue orange. We'll say oil. Color. This one does have a mixed look, so if I select orange, you can still see those gray parts, and that's because of the gray secondary color. So it really depends on what your secondary color is, and you have to be mindful of that. Very chaotic brush, but it looks amazing. Not sure what to call this, but we'll just say for now oil mix, meaning there's something or oil X2 something. Or 2x, how about that? All 2x. Because meaning there's like two colors involved. Wow, genius. For now. Same brush. But it's is it the same brush? Yeah. But without the, the secondary shit. Oh, look at that. It's so dry, like really like dry. It's like a Jackson Pollock painting. Look at that. Oh, fuck. Look at the effects. Yeah, so just be careful when you're using social media. For me, definitely, it's going to be Twitter or X. I'm still going to use it, but I just need to know that I, I'll use it in the end of the day. It's just the healthiest thing for me. Um, anything other than that, it's... Or any more than that, it's not gonna work well for me. I mean, because it's not worth it. Like, even though in the beginning, I'm like, oh shit, this is cool. I like the artwork I'm saying. Two seconds later, oh, I see all of these successes, all of the things that I don't fucking have. And then I'm depressed. So, it ruins my mood. And then I end, I, I end up procrastinating and not working on anything. So, fuck that. I'll still use it, but in the end of the day, maybe, or mostly in the weekends. And I don't really have a weekend anyway, because I'm kind of, um, I'm on the grind. Oh, by the way, I'm, maybe I'll do this in, in a different episode, but I've seen the drama, if you haven't heard of it. <laughs> I'm like fucking gossip girl over here. But it's basically about the whole AI thing, AI, AI 
thing concerning I mean I've talked about AI before for those of you who've been here a while like um, I don't use it, but as a reference, like I enjoy seeing some of the artwork because it's. I mean, I know some people don't like me saying it's art, like a real art. It doesn't matter. Like visually, some of them looks okay or inspiring even, because it just visually looks cool. Even if it doesn't make sense, it makes me want to draw my own shit. You know what I mean? So that's kind of my take. Like using it in my own artwork, like applying it. Not really, because I'm the reason why I'm into art is because I want to make marks on the page. For example, just selecting this color and shit, doing this sort of thing. Like I want to be able to make marks. So if I just use AI, like what's the fucking point? So I think it depends on what you want from art. Some just want the result. I want the result too, but if I'm not like making marks, then it just takes away the motivation, and I'm just like. Maybe that's the reason why I'm not really into the whole, like, uh, design thing. I mean, I like the uh, design is cool, but because it, it's not prioritizing like the mark making, like the way illustration does, where you can really show off your style or your, you know, just 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 this chaos, right? Because of that or the lack of that, where you're more focused on the idea concept iterations important stuff but because it's not i don't get to do this as much where i, I can just push paint around i'm i'm not gonna do it i'm more of a, i would consider myself more of a an illustrator than say a designer because of that so that's kind of my generic uh take on ai like sometimes I do use it as reference. If I like the artwork, I'm not gonna shy away from it and say, "Oh, sh like, oh my god, it's like so fucking disgusting." Like, if it looks cool, I'm gonna study it as a visual thing, right? So that's kind of my take. Um, and also, again, I, I I already mentioned this to use it in my own artwork. It's just not for me, but as a reference, I would use it. So that's uh, my take on it. Now going to the actual drama. <laughs> Let's start the gossiping. Um, it's basically between Ergo Josh, it's a big YouTuber too, and Adam Duff. Um, and it's kind of confusing actually, but you know Adam Duff has talked about this before, and I think he did get some flack before from it, and he basically repeated the same thing. I mean, I do get where he comes from. And yeah, I'm actually not pissed as much. Like the reasoning, like the people, the reason. Oh, I like this thing over here. You see that? The, uh, I feel like it could be something. I should call this orange too, but it's already red orange. Maybe what? Is, what the fuck is this then? I think it's from the same photo, but a different part. So I'll call it color orange, but um. But two. Sorry. Color. Is that fair? Okay. Yes. Man, it's so messy. Let's make a new layer. Just to fucking. Sometimes I delete it or I just make a new layer. Um, anyway. I like seeing black more. And oh, ooh. That's some sexy shit right there. Anyway. Uh this one feel, feels more like a flat brush. How about this one? It's also like the same thing. Charred. That's what I that's the word that comes to mind. Is that a word? Charred? charred put the charred we'll call this one flat is it yeah flat 2x flat ah shit basically like he um i just recommend you watch like the recent videos in his channel um but the, it, it, the whole ar art thing how 
that actually didn't piss me off as much. <laughs> I actually do agree because, guys, let me just say this. As much as we complain about AI and everything, like, in the end of the day, like, what are you going to do about it? And people keep saying, oh, that's a defeatist attitude. It's not a defeatist attitude. Like, what the fuck? Like, in the end of the day, you can keep supporting Carla uh, or T or Ortiz and her freaking list of associates and that's great if you want to push for regulation but while that's happening what are you doing though you know like like i feel like the reaction is so i mean it's the internet number one but also like it's so common nowadays where people just fucking rage on like what the fuck you you'll see this a lot in the the so-called art community which is like i don't even like it it's so like, I feel like people talk more than make art. Oh, shh. Or it's not even, like, normal talking. It's, like, fucking, like, screaming. Like, they sound exactly like AI bros now. Sorry, that's what it sounds like. And maybe I even if it's... Yes. Should this be a topic of concern? Well, no shit. It should be. But the focus is just so dumb. Like, what are you doing? Like, are you going to wait for regulations to come in before you'll start doing your art? For example, the reason why I'm not so bothered by it, or why it's not taking a hold of my mind, this whole AR, AI art thing, because I have a dream. And my dream is to be able to make a living off of uh, making art. Like, what the fuck does AI have to do with that? For example, there's a reason why I'm doing content creation is because... Um, I realized that a lot of the like people who make art or who can make art uh, as a living and uh, do it comfortably, they do have multiple streams of income. And one of those major streams is uh, being able to utilize social media. So there's a reason why I'm doing content creation, right? So basically, I'm trying to create my own job in that in that regard. So that's sort of my path. That's how I want because it's because I because of this dream I have this goal I have for myself. Um, I'm just not for, like, okay, so if there's AI art and then, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's taking jobs, but if you're, if you're, well, if your job or if your goal is to be able to work for or to get those small jobs where you do like illustrations, like the technology is already there though. Like, I just don't get like, what are you... <sighs> I feel like I'm not explaining myself properly. Like, I just don't understand all of this complaining. Where does it go, though? Again, let me just write it down. Um, regulation. I think that's what people push for, especially when they keep referring to Carla Ortiz and her associates. Okay, fine. You can do that. That's check. As this is happening, guys, what the fuck are you doing on your own? Like, when I open your sketchbook, what am I going to see? Am I gonna see this? Fuck AI every fucking page. Oh fuck AI. Is that your entire personality? Like is it so bad to mention this? Sorry to say it. I can't be the only one saying this. It's like an entire wave of just- Oh what, what are you an AI shill? And it really- For example this guy- I don't agree with everything Adam Duff says but really if this is the enemy. Like Adam Duff this fucking Canadian. No offense to the fucking Canadians, but really? I don't even like, sorry to say, I like, I like Adam Duff, even though I don't agree with him on everything, no shit. But I don't, sorry to say, I don't like Ergo Josh. Like, I remember unsubscribing because I just, I, I don't feel the fucking guy. <laughs> Maybe that's mean, I don't know, there's just something, I don't know, fishy about him. Anyway, but as much as I am wary of that person... Because of the way he talk, I don't know, it's maybe the microphone is just fucking weird. Like, is he the enemy though? Like, uh, who gives a fuck? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, you're, like, you want to get a fucking noose and just hang people? Like, I don't, like, this is the enemy. Like, Adam Duff. Like, fuck. Yeah, fuck these people, but really, are they like the epitome of <laughs> AI? I mean, I, I don't like my AI bros say, or, or tech bros, AI tech bros say, oh, 
no one needs art anymore because we can like copy your shit like yeah it sounds retarded or loser ish but they're not like i'm i'm like i'm gonna fight them or something like it's, i just don't see the freaking like the response is just too much and i feel like this these people there's kind of an age thing number one which is fine um and i do consider that so no shade um but also like i just don't see solutions you know and when i say this people are gonna say oh that's defeatist but like how am i de being defeatist by seeing things as they are it like when you when these people fucking talk sorry to say they sound so fucking blue pill not all obviously some do have legitimate concerns and they can express it in a way that's like constructive so that's cool and everything so that's great what i'm referring to is this kind of like rage bait like oh my god what the fuck oh, ai shill like really guys the fuck you doing though like I, I i've seen comments in my own channel like shitting on my own work and sometimes in the art reviews like they'll shit on the artist that i'm reviewing obviously i don't like that because there's a reason why i feature these people in the first place because i like their artwork so when when you kind of shit on them like what and guess what whenever i look at their um, username click on it there's nothing there like and i see so many of this and like the whole ai fuck ai space like is this the personality we have as artists like we're projecting so much bitchiness to everyone remember having legitimate concerns is good because if, if it's legitimate it's legitimate but people know us as complainers now like can, can you like is it is <laughs> listen, listen listen to me listen to daddy um is it possible that maybe artists if you even call yourself an, an artist like is it possible that we're making a fucking mistake because what it sounds like, sorry to say, guys. Parang hindi tayo nakakamali. How do they say the thing? How do they, how do they say the thing in uh, English? It's like we can't do any wrong. Like we're so virtuous. Like that's the vibe I'm getting in, the, in this art community. Like we're so above everyone. Like what the fuck? Okay, have your concerns. But grabbing your fucking pitchforks before your own stylus ooh i just see complaints by the way if i say this it doesn't mean i'm promote it's a sort of either or thing if i say um like you have to find your own solution learn to you have to find out what your actual goal is if i do this sort of or think this way people will automatically assume that i support ar that i'm quitting like there's no like brain usage here it's just fuck you that's why sorry that's the energy i see and it's so sad um oh this one looks so fucking cool i'll, I'll call it 2x2 but it's let me just uh change the name here and then i'll I need to make the names unique too because when I save the SUT file, it's gonna complicate things if I have the same name when I save it uh, or export it to a folder uh, outside of Clip Studio Paint. Um, shit, how long have I been recording? 43 minutes? Oh my god. You know what? Fuck it, not bad. I don't mind if it's long. Um, if it helps me to work and it helps me realize things, you know, because I talk things out fine shit i was gonna say something so like smart <laughs> oh yeah i was reading some comments and people were shitting on like adam duff or one of the the reasons why they were shitting on it because he's not a real artist in a way like that's the vibe i'm getting because he's not really an artist artist he's like a content creator like these people have a very limited view of what you can make or how you can make money with art. They still think that the end result is the only way you can make money from art. 
for example, like if, you, if for example, this painting right now, like the only thing, the real way to make money off of it is if I work in a studio or if I sell a print of this freaking thing or a sketchbook uh, compilation, right? Do you really, do, like these people don't understand how so mentally <laughs> dumb they are. And how limit they sound exactly like boomers. You know how boomers are. You know, basically old people. Um, like they have a limited way of obviously because they're of a different time. That's fine. But the characteristic is they're so limited in their viewpoint that it makes people frustrated to talk to them in the first place. We artists are already stereotyped as people who don't have any business acumen. I'm saying it right. Is that a word? Like, we don't have any business, like, we lack business skills. So what we're gonna do in the, in the age of the internet is limit ourselves to one way of working. Remember, let me just, let me just write this down. You have a product, right? You have a product, and that's art. We'll call it art. People still think that you, you need the fucking, like, this, we'll call this, like, a painting. This represents a painting, right? People think that this is the only way you can make money. And by people, I mean fucking artists, meaning our kind, unfortunately. <laughs> Remember, you can make money via, you can generate revenue via packaging. Oh my god, there's no more space. Packaging. Or another way of saying packaging is presentation. For example, I can make money off of, say, this amazing painting, right? That will generate me money, but... If I make a time-lapse video, let's see, this is a play button by, by the way, a play button. If I make a time-lapse video, record a time-lapse video of this thing, and I do a voiceover and call it a demo or tutorial, I can make even more fucking money. This is how we make money from art. It's not just this. There are so many ways we can monetize the, from the beginning to the end, we can monetize the entire process of art and when they say comments like oh he's not a real artist because he he does content putang ina tanga ka ba are you fucking dumb the reason why so many artists are able to live their uh, lives making art is because they know how to market themselves online they know how to make content like why are you rejecting content creation when that's that's a huge avenue for you to be able to um, generate revenue and make a living off of your own artwork. Literally just, just paint something. For example, Raj Dress, he just paints like chicks and shit, right? And because so many people watch his videos, he can make money from that ad revenue. Are you going to tell me that he's not a real, uh, he's not a real artist just because he has like a, a YouTube channel? Like how dumb are, again, you're so like behind thinking like this is still the only way to make art like you need to publish like a finished print or a painting or sell it at an auction or some kind of gallery like you think exactly like, like the people you despise in this case it's, go it's going to be boomers like you're so outdated remember we're already stereotyped as being dumb when it comes to business we have no idea how to monetize shit we can't market ourselves we're, uh, we're poor we're starving so what are we gonna do we're going to perpetuate this stereotype by shitting on other artists who know how to monetize and uh, who, who know how to make money from this art space, from their creative uh, skills, right? People people do stuff like, you know, they'll sketch on their sketchbook traditionally, pencil, something's gouache. They record it and post it online. Even, even if they don't sell that, the, that actual sketchbook, they don't even sell prints. By the way, you'll see so many women do this where they just do like portraits and shit uh, using like a marker, gouache. And look at the amount of subs they have. Look at the amount of views they have. Are you telling me they're not real artists because they make content? I mean, how dumb are you? Like you deserve to be poor. Sorry. If, if that's, if that's, if, if you think that's mean, it's not. Maybe it, it is mean, but you're so judgy and you're so outdated and fuck you. <laughs> like really? This wasn't available in, you know, our parents' time, or in my parents' time anyway. Like, this whole internet thing, being able to make money online, Patreon. For example, Sakimi-chan. She basically popularized, or one of the, the main 
uh, digital artists who popularize making money via memberships uh, using Patreon. Are you telling me she's not a real artist because she makes content online? Most of her products, by the way, I think are digital anyway. You know, PSDs, time-lapse videos, right? Oh, she's not a real artist? Like, how dumb. Like, there's a reason why people shit on us. Like, it's not, sometimes it's mean and it's so, like, unfounded, fine. But there's, there are times, signif- there are legitimate reasons why people despise artists because we're so dumb. There's so much business opportunity and we're going to go back to like ancient times where we have to find like... Anyway, it pissed me off. Even though I disagree with, uh, let's say, Adam Duff and certain things. Like really? Like this? You're going to shit on him for making content? Oh my god. This is why we're poor guys. We're so unthinking. And again, another thing that's my issue with the art community is the inability to compartmentalize. Like, you can still support Cardo or Ortiz, uh, push for regulation, stuff like that. I mean, who wouldn't want, like, a better fucking world, right? In general. But while you're doing that, what the, while, while that's happening, guys, what the fuck are you doing, though? Like, these people, like, where's your artwork? Like, you can keep supporting Cardo or Ortiz, but guess what? People know her. Do you know why? She's been doing this. She has a career. She made her way, um, uh, like she has artwork to show if you're in the beginning stages you don't have a voice kind of like me i don't really have like a voice i don't even know what my style is what are we going to do wait for carl ortiz to save us you know what i mean remember you can keep supporting this um this movement and that's great but what i want to emphasize here is while that's happening what the fuck are you doing though i just see so many freaking like doomer fucking like if there's one thing you have to guard yourself from as an artist is energy vampires there are so many energy vampires like reactionary number one they're reactionary as fuck no sense of lint they, they just they're it's mob behavior it, it's almost impossible to talk to these people anyway and, and i'm sorry like it's not just obviously it's not just in the art creative space right it's pretty much everywhere, especially, sorry to say, here in the U.S., there's a certain culture of um, mob rule that's so fast. Like, even if it, something is not happening here and it's happening abroad, it's an international thing. So many commenters from this freaking nation, sorry to say, will jump in and voice their dumb fucking opinions. Remember, there's dumb people everywhere. But because of that culture of this reactionary, like, rage and this fucking vitriol, like, raw, like, fucking, like, almost rabid, like, fucking animals, like, dogs. And also, like, the whole, like, clipping something. Um, for example, uh, I've seen, like, clips of Adam Duff being, like, shared on Twitter. Like, is that what he meant, though? You know what I mean? Like, if you've seen his content long enough, like, really? Like, even though I disagree with quite a few of his opinions like you're making him sound like a fucking crazy person like he just hates artists and, or something you know he has a way of talking and you just clipped it that's so disingenuous i remember watching adam duff since his black and white video days where it's just him talking in front of a camera and again i don't always agree with the guy but you make him sound like a fucking de- <laughs> a demon like what the fuck Look, there are things I don't like, for example, when he in one of the recent videos, obviously, um, this one looks like an oil painting. You know, on, on Adam, with Adam Duff. I think he deleted it already, but or maybe it's the, I'm not sure, but in the recent video of Adam Duff, even though, like, I did, I did not like the way he kept referring to Ergo Josh as some kind of, like, leader or something, or... Like he's like he's leading he's kind of like ahead of like the vibe i got was like he it it sounded like so <laughs> adam duff i've been watching your content for a long time and i'm not one of these people who will just you know like fucking rage quit you oh you're you're a bitch adam like i i disagree with you with, with a few things i mean all people we can't always agree on everything so there's that but sorry to say adam i'll say this as much as I like your work in general, you know, 
disagreements here and there. You sound like that Trudeau guy. Trudeau, you're uh, is a president or a prime minister in Canada. He sounds weird, and you like you sound like a theater kid sometimes. I respect Adam way more when he does his product reviews because he sounds way more real. Whenever he does his like therapeutic theater sort of background music that's sort of like droopy and the sad, I am not into it. Obviously, people watch it because there's a market for it, so there's a reason why he does it. But for me, I just skip those videos. So even though I do that, even though I don't agree with everything he does, like really, like is this guy the freaking enemy, right? Uh, the lynching, the mob rule, and of course, I know most artists still won't agree with me because there is a mob rule. It's all just oh f fuck AI, okay. Like, we know. It's kind of like when, when um, you know how men say you know, all women are whores? Okay. Or it's kind of like when, we, when women say oh, all men are trash. Okay. Like, you just keep saying the same things. You know what I mean? Anyway. Rant. Oh shit, Davi rants. Right? So. It went from being depressed to being angry. Did I even do anything? Oh my god. I feel like I talked more than worked. Sorry. New layer. But hopefully you get my vibe. Like, there's just so much reactionary shit right now. Like, Jesus. And when you point this out, oh, are you an AI shill? It's kind of like when you criticize that special country in the Middle East. Oh, you support Hamas. Like, what the fuck? Tang ina. Like, give me some space, bruv. Anyway, for example, XP Pen, XP Pen, Huayun, these are like Chinese brands, right? Like if I say that, like, do I support China now? <laughs> you know, you know, these types of like black and white stuff. Oh, so th does that mean you hate <laughs> women? <laughs> I know, bad. like it's so, my God. Again, it's a cultural thing. I think it's been so normalized. Um, to just fucking like say shit and um, and not even think there is a lack of critical thinking skills um, and as someone who was self-identified as somewhat mentally behind like it's I find it amazing that so many people are way dumber than me for some reason <laughs> like for example again, you, you know what I mean I'll give you an example I've already mentioned this in this episode, but compart. Am I saying it right? Compartmentalize? Compartment. Is, is there a take? Shit. That's a Z, by the way. Compartmentalize. <laughs> Compartments. How about that? Compartments. Like, people can't separate issues so they can handle it separately. Like, they have to mix in everything. And that solves absolutely fuck shit. Again. The, the the example of regulation again supporting like uh, the changing of laws and stuff like that because I think Card Ortiz and her associates argue that there is actually a way to um, get content or when it comes to the actual database like you're there's a possibility or it's actually possible to get content without uh, infringing on like copyrighted stuff. So there's actually that way. It just what happens like maybe people are lazy or these sorts of like AI companies are just not they don't they, they don't really care and there's no pressure on them anyway. So they they do want that kind of uh, pressure. So that's um the idea here. Um to show that fine uh, welcome the tech. It's already there but we should at least regulate it to provide like to you know to respect a copyright sort of stuff. Makes sense. But this thing, you, if you're an artist, don't tell me you don't see this lack of work. And even though, and even if they do put work, like, are they the best artists? Like, like we can all say, oh, all, all, all art is the same. But that's not true. Look at the artists who do create art, who constantly bitch and moan about AI. Again, as someone who has legitimate, like, you know, I'm not a fan of it constantly being pushed. But look at the who, people who 
like their entire personality is just uh, fuck AI you know even if they have artwork oh I'm sorry even if fuck, fuck AI even if they have artwork like look at the people look at the audience they gather that's a marker for you to uh, uh, watch look at the audience they, look at the community they have um You can see this on any community. Obviously, I'm in YouTube, so I see this in YouTube more. But the the people they tend to attract, they're not like they like the idea of being an artist. But I don't think they're. It's kind of like because it's very common nowadays to identify as something. Uh, some call it uh, identity politics, right? And a good amount of people are are annoyed by it, but it's sad that the word artist has become like an uh, an identity thing, you know. And shit, I had the point. The point is, people like the idea of just being an artist, but not putting in the work work in any kind of way. It's all just activism at this point. Now, when I say this, it doesn't mean you can't stand up for something. Again, that's something I always have to kind of say because people will take this out of context. But there's an energy of like... Even though you may not agree with the way Adam does it or with the way I say it, but I will say it too. There is a bitching sort of a... Like, is this toxic masculinity? Like, sometimes... Oh, shit. I've seen comments people calling Adam like Andrew Tate or he's like the Andrew Tate of the art community. Like, really, guys? Like, what the fuck? How limited are you in your fucking thinking? You mental swine. <laughs> How the fuck is he Andrew Tate? I mean, he is bald, but... And both are tall. Uh, but really? And the whole toxic mask... Like, how many times have you, how, do you have to say this? Like, really? It's so overused now. Like, come on. Like, you can't even say honest shit. Like, every, it just... When you say something that's... Even though it doesn't sound as um, diplomatic. <laughs> if it's true though, like why? Right? I think what Adam is trying to say... Because sometimes he'll mention like... Um, during his time... Digital art was kind of the new thing. The point is you have to adapt. And people don't like that word. But putang ina... Anong gagawin mo? Meaning, what the fuck? Like, what are you gonna do? Okay, so Carlo Ortiz and other people are fighting for uh, regulation. Okay, as that's happening, what are you gonna do though? Right now in your sketchbook, are you doing anything at all? You do realize it's possible to complain as you're doing your own shit. The problem is so many of these people, they're not doing shit. You're waiting for things to happen. And it's so like, why are you waiting for government to do shit? Maybe it's because I come from an environment where government is useless and shit. But it fascinates me here in the U.S. Do you actually believe your government wants to help you? I'm not saying give up and don't push for regulation. Again, you can still do this thing. Let me make it red, so you people can. Oh my God, it's lagging. Oh my God, Jesus fucking Christ. There you go. You can still push for this. This is still happening, by the way. But what are you doing? What are you doing to adapt? Right? Like you're just waiting for jobs to just come up. Sorry, I, I just have that... Um, like, I have a dream and I, I need to find a way to accomplish it. You know, so when people say, oh, like, there's no point because of my AI, like, I don't even understand those words. You know, sure, people people can say, oh, you're being dumb, you're being smart, but I am an artist, you know. I, if I have, if I want to be able to say, if I want to make a living doing these sorts of brush strokes and trying to find a way to monetize that, and that's my dream, then I'm going to find a way to do that. And maybe I'm stubborn, but then again, is not is this not the artist way to be kind of stubborn? Like, who's actually quitting here? You know what I mean? Like, you can say, oh, you're like uh, standing up for the rights of artists, but 
that's great, but what are you doing? You know, it always comes back to like, what's your actual goal here? Is it just to have a job? Maybe if that's your your only thing and you're not planning to have multiple streams of income and stuff like that, and you just, you just, you just want to have a stable job, that's fine. But I just don't understand. I can't relate to the whole waiting game thing. Like, I, I want to make it. And uh, I just, I, I, I know there's not going to be an easy route. So I, I'm grinding it out. But if I say that, people don't like it because it feels like, like you hear stuff like, oh, that, that, that's toxic work culture, like, you know, hustle culture, or it's toxic masculinity. Like, what the fuck? Like, the world is not on my side, bruh. When am I going to wait for the world? It's not even on my side. You can keep calling or pointing out oh these capitalistic structures and shit this system the systemic systematic structural capitalist you can keep saying this fucking words these people don't give a fuck so what are you gonna do how are you going to survive you know how, how, how are you going to balance making art and making a living off of it being able to survive you know i just i think the major thing here is i just can't relate to the whole waiting thing and if i point this out oh you're a shill. Oh, you're, you're you're a quitter. Oh, you're 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 one of them now. Oh my god! Like, am I am I am I a demon now? Am I am I, am I like Adam Duff or something? By the way, as someone who doesn't use AI, maybe as reference, but you know, I don't use it in my own workflow, right? Because I like the idea of you know brushstrokes. You know, I like mark making. That's really my thing. Yeah, I like shading stuff, adding in my brushstrokes, uh, but. The soul, like, you know, I, 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 in Twitter or I think ArtStation too, I do follow people who make AI art, even though you may disagree with that word for them. I don't really associate with them as, or personally, I don't call them artists, but you know, because it's easier for like people who are not artists, I just call it art, you know, like it's not that, it's not a big deal to me because in the end, I know who can, who I can actually relate to, you know? Like, I, I tend to associate more with, like, painters, sketchers, mainly 2D types of people. Because they do like making marks, too, right? But I, I, I still follow art. If they have, like, a nice set of pieces, even though it's generated or something, if it looks good, it looks good. And you, you guys can keep complaining about how, oh, it's shit, oh, it's stealing art. Guess what? They're making money off of it anyway. And every time I talk about this, I just know, oh, shit, like, you're... You're supporting the very thing that's oh my like it's tiring at this point. Like you know what, you people keep fighting the the fight, and if you want to virtue signal virtue signal about how good you are and how shitty people like me am like me are, or how or, or how Adam Duff is a fucking like demon, or Andrew Tate, or a toxic masculine kind of guy, you know. Well then, fuck. Sorry, I, I just can't wait. waiting for like I'm gonna wait for all of you to change and then I'm gonna wait for the, the government to change I'm gonna wait for the, these companies to change and the people will say oh, well, what's your solution then my, my solution here is, th is this to carve my own path how about that that's my fucking solution number one I need to know what I, I actually want for example I don't want to ever do freelance work ever again I want to be able to be in my own man cave make enough money to support me and my family and live a comfortable life and they want to do that by making art meaning what's making art mean for me doing this sort of thing um making uh you know being able to just create art with my fancy smanshi uh tablets that all of these popular big name uh companies will be sending me because and, th th and that's it when people keep saying, oh, what, what, that I should be worried about AI, like, you can keep saying that, but that's not my dream. My dream is not to worry about AI. To me, that's just another consideration. For example, I know people who, they make AI, uh, and they have Patreon accounts, and people pay for uh, the AI artwork. It's basically, like, even though they post the same things, like the same poses, like, they have a formula already, already. 
they have a like the, the poses may be the same the renderings is the same the only thing that's different is like the face maybe uh it, it's like lots of fan art and shit but guess what people who are not artists still pay for it so if to me i can complain about how oh shit like they're stealing or and i can wait to like uh, or i can focus on like fighting the system making sure that th that shit never happens i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna learn what works from them i'm gonna take what i can take from them and try to apply it in my own uh world because i have something i need to work on like i have a dream and i can't my, my dream is not to fight ai you know my dream is to do art and even if there's ai i'm still gonna do it because that it's just my thing that this is my obsession you know so when people say oh that like it's gonna steal my i'm gonna find the way bro i just don't understand what you're saying for example, for me, my takeaway when I see those types of accounts, I realize that even if it's repetitive, if it's if it makes people happy, if it makes the customers or people who pay for it happy, and th that's all it takes. So when people say, oh, because you you you'll hear this too from other artists, they'll say, oh, you should diversify your portfolio, like you keep doing the same things. It shows you that these people don't have a business mindset again another weakness of artists they don't understand that the people who pay don't really mind in fact they expect the same things from you you know like they have they have a uh, they think the they have a certain standard for artists and they're trying to uh, push that down the throats of customers you know what i mean like the people who buy art are not always most of them are not even artists so why are you trying to force this diversity sort of like if someone wants to draw pretty women and that makes money consistently for that artist and people pay why the frick does that guy or that artist have to change just to meet your fucking ideals of ma 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 my equality ma 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 <laughs> my diversity and shit you know what i mean like my god it's such arrogance and it's not sorry it's not even arrogant it's just dumb people are making fun of us forever if this if this keeps going like hopefully if i have grandkids um i'm afraid for them because oh shit they'll, they'll experience the same fucking thing because all of these artists are just like don't be don't i'll say this don't be above people who are not artists you know yes what i'm doing is fucking cool i think so anyway but we can't be like, like we're so like angelic and we're so like, like we're so close to the human soul. You know, those types of like people like Jesus. I think art is cool and it's nice and it's fucking amazeballs. But to kind of glorify yourself like you're so like, oh, like this fucking theater kid. Like, oh, you're so above everyone. Oh, my God. You know, that's why I'm very good. If there's one community that I really relate to, it's a not safer work community because they don't give a flying fuck. <laughs> because they, they also hear that shit. Oh, it's not real art or, or it's uh, degenerate. Like it's not, it doesn't have soul. Like you're just doing the same thing over and over again. Like, fuck you, bro. Like you're so high and mighty in your fucking shit. Like Jesus. Like apparently these people's artworks have like so much like soul in their world. Oh, the human soul. Tang <laughs> ina, like take it easy, bro. Like, get down from your fucking high horse, Jesus. And sorry to say, there's so much virtue signaling. Like, oh, like I'm fighting AI. Like, what are you doing? Do you see my flag in my uh, fucking profile? Look how I support this country. <laughs> like, oh, really? It's all. You know, there's a word here in the US, which I like. They say stuff like performative. It's a new word. I mean, it's, it's a word, but it's been more used recently. And the reason why is because it's there is like a sense of like perf performativeness where people just people display things and they don't even mean it. They just want to be able to say, oh, I support this. I support that. But it's all just for show. It's like a virtue thing. Like this is what I, it's like a marketing it's it's just sick they can't market their own shit because they're too dumb but they'll market themselves via their special flags and shit and while they do that they'll, they'll also shame people for not 
doing exactly what they think they should be doing oh like you're using ai even as a reference like oh my you're contributing to the the stealing and the copyright oh my god they like, dude obviously this will alienate people but but then again look at the people who constantly complain like it's their entire personality at this point where's your artwork bro right as someone who likes making marks like wow this looks nice right really look, i'm not a fan of like uh Again, for example, when uh, I saw the video of Erko Joss, or some clips of it anyway, or a portion of it, where he did use like mid journey or something, I would not do that myself. Like, it's not fun for me. Right? So, again, I, I already mentioned this like uh, as a stance. Like, ah, uh, it's just, it's not entertaining for me. I don't, I, I enjoy making those brush strokes. Even if I make a mistake, I like like painting over it. And uh, until I get it right. You know, that's what's fun for me, so. I just don't get the whole, like... And I think uh, people have pointed out, like, he spent so long in, like, one painting, like, a hundred plus hours, like... What? So, I don't think it's, uh, it even helped him in any way, like, it kind of prolonged, maybe, even his process, but... <clears throat> the point is, as someone who's not necessarily, like, a gonna use it or who's gonna want to use it who likes making marks instead of uh, adding in prompts I still I can admit that there's this energy of just like mob rule and sorry to say I'm so disappointed in the art community like ugh disgusting it's it's a bunch of activists now and again, if I say that, like, people will say, oh, like, what do you mean? Like, can't we stand up or something? Like, that's not the point. And by the way, there's also a culture of people who take things so fucking literally. Like, fuck. Like, the, the, uh, the thing that separates us human beings from animals is our ability to understand abstract thought. Right? So we can... Basically, we know what con we're supposed to know what context is, but so many people nowadays are like fucking. But that's not what you said, though. So what you're saying is like you're just adding shit to the fucking thing. You don't know what the context is. You're just fucking. You know what I mean? Just lynching people left and right. What the fuck? Ugh. I remember. Uh, I think I already mentioned this but maybe I'm repeating myself but I did do like an AI video where I was exploring one of the accounts where an account on ArtStation it's basically a guy posting like AI like experiments and stuff like that um and I was showing how you can actually learn from these sorts of illustrations and take away for example if you like some like the texture of something if you like the color scheme or something you can study these illustrations as it is you know as they are as a finished visual thing let me tell you the amount of comments I got, uh, like, it's so like irrational. Like, um, like AI art is shit. Like you can't see that. So even though okay, the hand is fucked up, fine, but you can't see like something that's visually appealing in it. Like yeah, there are there are like gener generated shit that's just you know shit. But there are legitimate illustrations, even though it's generated in AI and not made by an actual artist. <coughs> sorry fine it's still I, I still enjoy some of it like these people are so stuck in their own fucking ways like they can't even appreciate if something is visually beautiful if something is visually even if it's made by by accident because it, it's sometimes it ends up like random right when it comes to this generative stuff but sometimes you get random shit that looks nice they can't even see the beauty or uh, the visual appeal of it like they're just so stuck like, yeah, no shit, it's not made by a human person or a human artist, right? It's not analog or done via an analog way where you have a pen or, or something or a stylus. But as a visual thing, do you not like the fucking composition? Yes, it's based off of other people's artwork, 
But then again, the visual thing that's right in front of you right the fuck now, you can't see something that's nice in it. You know what I mean? They can't compartmentalize and that's something that's uh, so fucking annoying. You know? Anyway, <laughs> sorry for the rant, but I just needed to get that off my chest. It's just like so toxic. Ugh. The people who constantly say, oh, toxic, or you're, you're like Andrew Tate now, you're like, you're, you're a boomer, like really? Call me a boomer by saying work hard or adapt, right? By the way, I don't like boomers when they say that too, because um, <coughs> um, because oftentimes it's attached to other nonsensical stuff like back in my day. Well, shit, back in your day, it's different, right? So I do get that, but it doesn't mean that idea of uh, working hard or trying to adapt or trying to find a way. It doesn't mean that's not legitimate. Like, what are you gonna do, tangina? Like, what are you gonna do right the fuck now? Again, wait. For society to fucking change like jesus fucking christ it's kind of like these these men in the manosphere uh they, they, some of them talk about like a oh, women should not vote like what the fuck are you talking about bro you want to go back in a time where women don't don't vote like really like this is your this is your solution and because that's not happening you're just gonna sit there like a fucking loser and wait for the day when finally feminism ends. Like, what the fuck? Mental. By the way, women do the same thing. Uh, mainstream, like, feminism. Mainstream, like, manosphere shit. Like, just waiting for things to change. Like, what the fuck? No sense of empowerment. No sense of uh, adaptili- uh, adaptability. Right? Learning to find solutions. Trying, f- trying to find your way is not boomer. You know? It's not a boomer thing. Right? Anyway. So. Sorry for the rant, but I feel good now. <laughs> just being just being able to say that and get that off my chest is just... Shit, this is a long-ass episode. And you know what? Let me do- I forgot to actually rename this shit. Oh, shit. Fuck. So this one is the same brush, I think. Uh, what should I call this brush? Oh, because there's a white spot in the middle, I'll call it spot. Um, hopefully you got something out of this episode. Even though it's kind of all over the place, uh, I went from being depressed to being to being freaking frustrated because, right? If you look at the most popular videos on this topic, it's just like y- your opinion is not new, by the way. Like fuck AI, there it is again. Fuck AI, fuck AI, fuck AI. Like, Jesus Christ. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you know this. I mean, who doesn't want to support, uh, like, more safe, uh, you know, more protection for, like, uh, creatives, right? Because this this can apply to, like, music, yeah, coding, stuff like that, voice acting. Um, you, you'll see stuff, like, AI stuff right now concerning videos and how you can actually do the same, the same way you can generate art. You can generate videos, too. So yeah, it affects everyone, and this can this is, this is a new thing that we're we're gonna have to face, right? Um, and yeah, but it's like like if someone is like, do you not have dreams? You know, like if this AI shit doesn't stop, like, are you gonna quit now? Oh, AI just took my job. So you'll quit art? Like, you can't find another way to find a job to make art? Again, this shows you, what? A lack of that business mindset? 
they still think they need to work in the fucking st- I mean, if that's your dream to just work in a studio um like given the world we're in right now you need to be somewhat diverse um when it comes to like your income you need to be a bit more uh non-traditional right and i think this is what's lacking when it comes to our you want the old ways when we're not there you know and to me that just sucks it does suck is this the same brush Oh, I'll say I'll say it's it's the same brush but different type. So if you're someone who's listening or you're a follower of this uh channel or oh, sorry subscriber not follower subscriber please work on your um dreams. You can complain about AI but please don't be one of these people who just rants well Well, maybe you, you you can rant like I'm doing, but just don't be part of the freaking mob. Too many like activisty kind of vibes and lynch mobs posting clips on Twitter or X and misrepresenting people and uh, you know just quickly lynching someone. And uh, it's just sad. Like, really, is Adam Duff the enemy? I'm not gonna. speak for or try to defend Ergo Jaws because I don't really like I don't vibe with him as much I do vibe a little bit with Adam Duff but um because I have seen his content more and especially in the beginning days of his channel um like is he the enemy come on dude again you can disagree with the guy but just fucking like oh this guy's a fucking shill And even it, even if it sounds har- harsh, like oh, I think he mentioned stuff like a, uh, he called like um, I, mean, I think he did say like, um, like bitches or something. I mean, it's a curse word. Like, are you a child? Like Jesus fucking Christ! Like if, if I say you're you're a bitch, if you call me a bitch, are, 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 is that? Like, I'm guessing these people are like children or something. <laughs> I don't even know. Like I think the point was, you can't stop. or you can't oh shit like you can't forever bitch about this thing because that's what it sounds like and if you're gonna deny that like are you telling me there's no bitching that's happening in the art community right by the way it's not just the art community it's like every mainstream like this is the, this is an infestation of like whiners look I have a fair share I, I have a good amount of complaints as well but fuck it's not even close Like you're complaining so much to the point where people don't even know what you do, you know. Right. I know our channels right uh, right now who are big, who people support, by the way, who uh, who also say stuff like "Oh, AI art is shit." Do they do they make art anymore? Like uh, their entire channel is just like, "Oh, look at this toxic artist," or "Look at this toxic artist," or "Look at this toxic AI." Like you're not even doing art anymore, bro. You know how I talked about the whole product thing and how you can repackage it and you can make money off of that, that entire process? They're not even doing that. It's just like rage content. The art community is just rage content at this point. Rage, rage. These brushes are cool. By the way, again, try out Clips of the Paint. Use the ribbon. Play with the brush settings, especially under stroke. play with the ribbon setting um and you need to play around with multiple image uh materials because you do have to uh do a, do a lot of like trial and error to be able to get the brush that's kind of cool um so it's gonna be fun i, I recommend you try it out because you're gonna have fun once you find a brush that looks cool or make one that looks cool you're gonna enjoy it um look at that I'm not sure if you can make another effect where it looks like less oily and more like uh, maybe watercolor-ish or something, but who knows.
What the fuck is this thing? I don't know. Right? Oh, I should call this flat too. Yeah. Um, what else can I say? Uh, yeah, just even if I like watching drama and you know, I want to see what happens and stuff like that. Um, in the end of the day, I, I still have work to do. And I think that's a takeaway that I would like you to um, take away as well. Uh, we can watch and see what's happening and see the drama, but you still have to show up and, and do your thing. And right now, because of the, the rant I just gave and because of this session, I think I was able to, I feel better now and I want to, I'm kind of on a roll in a way. So... I think this was, th this was good for me. Um, so do your own work. Complain about AI, fine. Just make sure you're doing work. And try to stay out of the the rage part. Like, oh, like this guy is not a real artist. This is an AI shill. Like, jeez. Fuck. <laughs> and I know, I think Ergo Joss mentioned how some of his uh, commenters are... Uh, or his, uh, some of his audience members are immature. Um, even though I don't like using AI, and I'm not exactly a fan of uh, Ergo Josh, I don't think he's a leader. I don't consider him like a leader because I'm not. I'm not following him, so obviously I don't consider him like a leader in, a in any kind of way. Um, I I do see some truth there. Like the even though you disagree with the guy. Why do you have to react in such like a fucking, like your entire life is at stake? Huh? But Dave, it is at stake, really? Well, you wouldn't understand, Dave, because you have a YouTube channel and you're one of those, you're, you're one of these content creators, meaning you're not a real artist, you know? You don't understand the small artists. I see those types of comments. Ah. <sighs> I don't even know how to respond to that. Right? Because right now... I, like, what am I going to say to that? You know? Again, I, I don't agree with the the way Ergo Josh does his uh, thing. Um, he, he could have just drawn it, you know, or just... Like, I, I don't agree with his process, fine. But lynching the guy like I don't know like this I, I remember unsubscribing from Ergo Jaws because because um, I wasn't really learning anything from him like I, 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 I had no idea why I was follow, following him even because I think what turned me off was um, one of his videos where I think he was uh, complaining about how um, he was kind of stuck or he was discouraging that's the vibe I got people from just doing one thing in this case doing like pretty women from like Instagram or Pinterest and uh, but in his background video he was drawing a chick too like what the fuck man like what kind of behavior are, are you encouraging if you want to draw pretty chicks then just draw pretty chicks like don't be one of these diversity people when you have to like represent every fucking like body, shape, race, age, like Jesus, mother fuck. If you want to do mecha art, then do mecha art. If you want to do fantasy, do fantasy. Sometimes I see comments. I, I think I mentioned this before also, but for example, people will say stuff. I because I do review some Korean artists, right? And some of you know that they have a certain style when they draw when they draw their face. And they tend to be sort of aesthetic looking, kind of pretty. And the way is the, uh, these people talk about these artists like it comes off as so disrespectful like you're so like above them because they have like a, a um, because they have a certain standard you know they do have a certain style in general like South Koreans um, when they draw like bodies faces like, 
I see the same shit. Oh, it's it's boring or it's not even like it's not diverse enough. Like what the fuck? No res obviously it pisses me off because I do review these people and I like their work. When I see those comments, I'm like It's just dissing at that point. Like as a it's not good, right? As opposed to what artwork? Your artwork? Right? Jesus. <laughs> Given the amount of artists there are in this planet, like why can't we do our own shit? And th that eventually overall will lead to diversity instead of each artist themselves being diverse. Like do you really, do you, do you not understand how dumb that is? Must I use Photoshop too and Clip Studio Paint and Procreate? Must I use a fucking watercolor brush and oil paint? Must I use also like a, a bunch of pastels and start, and start doing like traditional artwork? Like should I do every single fucking thing? Like how dumb our unique sort of focus is what makes us who we are. It's what separate us, separates us and makes us unique. But if we combine every artist, we, we become, or we do see that diversity if we have enough artists. But instead of doing that, we're going to force every single artist, encourage, force, shame every single artist into doing this fucking hogwash of you know what i mean like oh my god what is happening i'll say this the art community is dead like whatever uh is there online it's not the art community it's a bunch of weirdos now sorry it's true and it's sad you can keep saying, oh, you're, you're, uh, it, my opinion, as much as maybe I'm coming off as kind of angry or whatever, it's sad seeing like first our beginner artists kind of see the same thing and they don't even feel welcome anymore because of all of this shit. Right? This fucking like virtue signaling. Like, oh, like look at how amazing. Look at how I'm standing up for your fucking rights, bro. Like I'm fighting for the fucking fee. Oh, wow. Wow. Congrats, bro. Jesus fucking Miss Virtuoso <laughs> over here. And it's sad that we could have so many more artists, but because of the amount of like, oh, virtue. Look, look at how better I am because, you know, like I care for the environment, bro. Because this, like, really? Oh my God. Tang ina. You sound so fucking fake. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's what I feel. Maybe these people are genuine, but I think it's dumb. Anyway. Oh shit. I'll name the last two brushes. Oh shit, I forgot to name this one. I mean, yeah, I know it's a... Uh... Hmm, what should I call this? Oh, it's related to this one. Uh, maybe scatter? Or is... Mm, I don't know. It looks like it's paper. Like, you know how you paint something and you use it like a magazine to sort of take away some paint and you get this sort of effect? So we'll say paper. Oil paper. Mm, seems kind of weird to say the oil paper. Um, collage. It looks like collage. Oh, we'll say collage. By the way, I'm using my XP pen, uh, Deco Pro, uh, MW, so medium size. So we'll say collage. Um, collage. Uh, 
So if you, if you have a dream, you have to focus on working. Don't wait for regulations to happen, all right? If you want to contribute to that movement, fine. But please, I hope, I, I, I hope I'm surrounded by artists who have a dream and they're working towards the dream and they're not waiting for things, for things outside of them to change. You can call it um, like quitting or being defeatist or you're not. Um, it's kind of like when you choose not to vote. And people say, oh, you're contributing to the fucking problem, bro. Like, really? Like, if that's how people will treat you, then... Like, if the, the art community is as, as it is right now, um, I won't claim to be a part of it because it sucks. Um, and you can uh, uh, hold that uh, label. Um... If I'm not a real artist for supporting uh, this kind of like mob kind of behavior and this kind of uh, this almost nonsensical like oh like yeah I sh you know the type of like reactionary shit if that makes me not part of the the art team then fuck you you know I mean no, fuck it I guess I'm not one of you then yeah and maybe in a way I think this is what happens when artists. Um, group together <laughs> it becomes kind of toxic i don't think we do well when we're so um combined i think we're as solitary creatures we work better when we're solitary look at the best artists they tend to not be part of the the mainstream right they're not really part of a group and um and they're not trying to be part of a group so maybe that's why um you get this sort of like rage content because it's a mob it's a group and most artists i think i believe don't like groups you know i'm not saying you can't have friends you know because whenever i say something someone's going to like strip like a a part of it and they won't contextualize and they'll so what you're saying is you know it's one of those things you know and uh, jesus it's so tiring, but, you know, it's life. Um, I'll need, I'll just remove the number two because Okay, I think I'm satisfied with the, the titles. I'll call this all dry one. Right? And I think you have to be careful of the audience you, if you're doing content yourself or starting your own channel be careful of the audience you um build up because you let me just write this okay all texture one all texture two all draw okay so i'm basically oh this these last two jesus fucking i don't mind if there's like young people well, I'm young, but I'm not that young. Um, because it's more, you know, I was young too, like a teenager, so that makes sense. But it, I'm actually kind of concerned for people who are kind of my age or older, but they're not like um, mentally stable. So they can't use the excuse of being young. Because there's like young where, you know, people are passionate when they're, when they're younger. Obviously, there's also a hormonal thing there, so I don't mind. But it's like people who are my age who are like past 25, meaning at that point, your brain is already somewhat functional, right? But if you're past 25 and you're like raging, oh, like fucking, oh, no. This one is, this one, I expected this to turn out black, kind of like this one. 
it technically has the same characteristics as the these two x brushes where it does utilize two values let me show you if i hit red and paint with uh, this brush maybe you can't see it as much but oh maybe with the black do you see how there's some gray parts there so you do see a little bit of that secondary color showing up but because i guess it's mostly like um solid it ends up looking white so there were earlier versions of this brush same shape but i adjusted the i adjusted the gray part it was too strong uh but it did end up turning white so instead of black Oh, and you have to play too with the thickness of your brush. It's not going to look good. Um, usually if it's left as is, play with the thickness. Um, if you're having, uh, um, if you're struggling with your channel and you don't know what content to do, just uh, try to do what I'm doing, say, with the art process series where you just show up um or maybe the art podcast where you just talk about something uh, you can even do art reviews um break down an artist you like stuff like that and just i think you need to be able to market yourself right way better than just bitching <sighs> you know, if i get canceled then it is what it is imagine imagine calling adam Duff a fucking like like an andrew tate manosphere like toxic masculinity just for saying that, you know, you're going to have to adapt. Like, in the end of the day, what are you going to do? Right? Like, yeah, he's from a different time. But is, is, is the advice wrong? Oh, but you don't get it. You don't get it, Adam. You don't get it, Davi. Oh, my God. As someone who doesn't have, like, a big channel, I don't even have a style. I don't have a voice. I'm poor. I'm unemployed, basically. Um... I am a starving artist, officially. Like, I just don't understand, like, why would I... Like, even though I'm not there yet, I have been making progress. And the reason why is because I'm not... Sorry to say, I hate to say it. Well, not really. <laughs> I love to say it. I'm not wasting time thinking about my, my, my AI art. I need to find, like, my focus is, my obsession is trying to find my own path. You know, and maybe there's some kind of irrational thing there, but it's the kind of irrationality that I respect in myself, you know, and maybe people will see it as being stubborn, whatever, but at least I'm moving forward, trying to find ways and I'm not waiting for like some of you like are so like, um, maybe not you, but these artists were so reactive like what i don't even know where it's coming from yeah it sucks like but what are you gonna do to me it always comes out to what are you gonna do about it though wait i just can't wait bruv i'm just too focused doing my own shit that i just i don't have time to uh like, I have my own worries. So when you talk about AI, it's just, it's not even that big compared to my own worries. You know, thinking about, like, supporting a family uh, and trying to balance everything, you know? It's a consideration. It's part of the, the landscape that I have to deal with, but, you know, it's kind of like a hill or a mountain. Like, it's something that's there that you have to maybe cross over. But the way these people act, like, oh that doomer mindset you know, I get depressed sometimes but doomer mindset oh there's no point bro and also the lynching mindset like really like how the fuck I keep going back to the same thing like how is Adam Duff the enemy right you know jeez by the way I disagree with him with um uh with this whole support of Ergo, because I don't like Ergo Josh. 
So when he, the, I guess it's the way Adam Duff talks about. He talks like uh, the Trudeau guy, the Canadian like prime minister, or something, where he keeps like exalting Ergo Josh as, as this kind of leader. I'm like, no, that's dumb. Um, but Andrew Tate, like, come on, come on. So what does this brush look like anyway? Let's use the, the opaque one. Just one solid color. So I guess this, that's the... Just, just focus on your work, guys. Um, don't be... You know, we, we, we can gossip here and there and talk about stuff and... You know, talk about some drama shit. But in the end of the day... We have to focus on our own craft. Um, right? Oh, you don't understand, bro. You know what? Fuck it. You know what? Fine. I guess I don't understand then. Uh, sometimes you need that mentality where, where, where you just say, okay. When people say you're not, you, you just don't get it, bro. Like, you're not one of us. <laughs> right? Um, just say okay, okay. I guess I'm not one of you. You know. And it, it, there's something freeing about it because you're, you're no longer part of the group. Um, like you're not one of them anyway. Because they'll make it clear, like, oh, you don't really understand. And because of that, you're not one of them. You're you're not one of us, right? So, I guess I'm excluded then. But then again, like, what's new though? You know, I was always somewhat excluded like i didn't i didn't feel like i belonged that's kind of a normal thing for artists anyway also a sort of maybe a real artist oof right because some of you want to be in these sorts of like mobbish groups so look we're all supporting like a hey, whatever you can tell i'm not a fan of these people it's just too much too much For example, Trent Kanuga is a big YouTuber too, a very experienced guy. He, he does have the same attitude, like you're just gonna have to uh, adapt, you know, find a way to set yourself apart. Like it's 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 rational advice. Thankfully he did it, it, it doesn't receive as much like, um, maybe it's because he doesn't praise people like Ergo Josh and maybe that's Adam Duff's fucking mistake. Praising Ergo Josh, like, oh. Look, he has a right to praise the guy, but I just don't think he's like a, a leader or something, or like a, a very innovative, like... Trent Kanuga is more of a fucking leader. Ross Draws, Cynics, uh, Psychra, these people are, you know, they've moved me, moved me to make art. So maybe that's Adam's mistake. I think the problem is the audience that you acquire. Be careful of the audience you acquire, bro. That's why I'm glad of the the most uh, most of the sub subscribers I get because most of you are kind of a. Uh... I think it's because of of the the titles, obviously. You know, I call you procrastinators, or like I I track people who are procrastinators or who are trying to make it, um, who have like multiple interests in terms of like style, and maybe you're someone who can't decide what your style is, but you do know you like art, you know, those types of people. I, I, I jive with them because I am them, you know? So be careful, especially with like art accounts that, that lean more into activism. No. Unless that's your thing, fine, but I don't recommend it. Or I'll say this, I avoid it myself because it's not my crowd. You know, I, 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 I like seeing artists who try stuff, kind of like what I'm doing and they make mistakes. Like, they just sound real, you know? And they show you, like, oh, the, their vulnerabilities. Um, but they're, like, normal people who don't fucking, like, rage in the fucking inter internet. I mean, they do rant, but the rage? It's fine to rant, but the rage? Ugh. Unsubscribing. Had no idea Davi was an AI shill. <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, you don't get it, bro. 
because it doesn't affect what do you mean you know what if it doesn't affect me then it doesn't affect me you know even though it kind of does but like people just want to get stuck in their fucking ways or maybe I'm not, I'm not saying it right like um if you want to remain there then stay there <laughs> Did I make it worse? Right? Like, I just don't get it. So, I just, I just, I just gotta keep going, guys. Like, I don't need... I don't, <sighs> the artists I want to associate with are somewhat irrational in that they have a dream and they have to find a way to make it. You know? And they'll adapt. And that's it. For example, if... Um... Uh... If being able to make art means I have to be good at diversifying my business and be more business minded, if I have to learn marketing to be able to make a living off of art and make good money off of it while still uh, achieving my own personal uh, goals when it comes to my own artistic uh, development and trying to balance all of that out, then, I'm, then that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to wait for the world to change for me. You know, the world is always spinning. It's moving forward with or without you. Right? Especially for someone like me who hasn't, I'm not established in any way. No one, I mean, some of you know who I am, but I'm not like a big guy, you know? So I'm not going to waste my time shitting or fighting my ma 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 my AI and trying to lynch like Adam Duff or whatever and I just I have to I, to me I'm just moving forward finding ways to move forward there will there will always be things happening on the outside but what, as an artist like what's my actual goal I need to find a way to make a living off of this thing, I need to be successful. I need to win. Right? I don't care if there's AI. Yeah, I don't care if there's fucking. I need to find a way. That's my mentality. You know? If you can't jive with that, if you don't if you don't understand what that even means, like this kind of stubbornness, this obsession, and you're always looking and you're, and you're, and you're always sort of a uh, looking on the outside. Uh concerning yourself with AI news all the fucking time I just can't see it man and even I can't believe it like people make fun of that whole grind set thing I know it's kind of a meme but being on the grind working forward like putting in the hours putting in the mileage Like, how are you going to succeed with that kind of mentality? If you're really concerned about AI art, is this the time to be not grinding? You know what I mean? And they associate that with like toxic, toxic mask. Oh my God. How dumb. Please don't be one of these people, bro. Or brevet. Let's move forward. Let's keep working. Let's find ways to move forward. Um, and let's not waste time trying to lynch someone. And let's have fun as we do it. Right? And go all in. Go all in on art. Right? Yeah, I still don't have a title for this fucking brush. Um, It looks like... A river, right? It looks like a sumi brush. Well, does it? I don't even know. Or it looks like a watercolor brush. Fuck it, I'll call you sumi. Yep, sumi. I'll call you sumi. This is sumi. Oil sumi. So 
I have these. Uh, these are basic brushes, so I'm not going to... Um, they're worthless because they're just basic. These ones, I have to save these ones. I'll save these ones. This one, I have to actually rename them. Um, this one, I've already renamed them. So, I just have to save them too. Oil. So, I think in the beginning of this episode, I talked about... Um, the major thing was being able to be aware of your social media habits. And for me, opening up Twitter is probably a bad idea or X because I do get distracted. Even, even though in the beginning I may be inspired by other people's artwork, eventually I'll get distracted with all sorts of things. And maybe I'll even get demotivated because, you know, seeing the success of others, even though I want to congratulate them, and I do in my own way. Um, it sort of reminds me of how far I have to go and it just puts me in a bad mood or bad mindset and I start to doubt myself sometimes. So I think distancing myself or at least postponing, opening up that site or any similar sites, um, uh, postponing that to like later in the day or in the weekends, I think that's better. Also, um... Don't waste time with my, 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 my recommendation for um, for those who are listen, listening, watching. Avoid these groups who who are focused in on I don't care how genuine or um, valid their reasons are. If it's the mob, avoid the mob. Basically, because they, they'll always say stuff like, um, oh, it's like a genuine thing or you just don't understand. Like, these people are dragging. You're not moving forward. If you are if you can use a bit of rationality, if you have a bit of wisdom, step back and look at where these people are. Most of them are not even working. Do you want to associate with these kinds of people? Right? Remember, like I said, plenty of times in this video alone, you can push for regulation, that's fine. But in the end, are you going to, uh, do you really want to be around people who complain all the fucking time about AI? Who act like fucking animals? In fact, this is going to be clipped. Oh, Davi calls uh, people who criticize AI as animals. <laughs> you, you do, they did the exact same thing to fucking... Well, not just Adam Duff, but Ross Draws. Remember when he just used like a... Yeah, it was from Pinterest, like the, the reference photo. But look at how everyone treat, treated him. Like he was some kind of monster. Like, uh, and maybe... Maybe that's one of the reasons why Ross Draws doesn't post as much on... Uh, on YouTube anymore. And I feel sad. Because I do like the guy. But given how you fucking people treated treated him like some, he's some kind of monster. Like... Just because of a, of a reference, like, oh my god, like the... It makes sense. I'm not sure what the actual reason is, but if, if this is the reason, it makes sense. These people just treated, like... I'll say this. Don't trust the art community. Don't trust the art community. Forget about... Co connect with other artists, that's fine. But associating yourself with the community, the community... Fuck no. It's a mob at this point. And, um, right? And you get, sometimes I do see a bit of it. Um, because if I have like a popular video, right? I do get like extra views. Like the comments are so abnormal. They're, they're not from my normal, typical audience. It's like so demeaning and, you know. So if you're starting your own channel, remember that. Once you go out, once you attract, or once people who are outside of your zone start seeing your work, ugh, it's interesting to say the least. It's like, they're not even like, it's the way they just talk in the comment, it's so uh, beyond. 
normal basically it's just rage content and um they can keep saying that their complaints are valid but people know you as assholes right now and that's it right and you can say oh you're supporting ai like it's it's it, it, this whole black and white thing like you're either for ai or against ai like for example if i'm criticizing the behavior of a lot of artists right now so-called artists quote-unquote artists um well i guess that must mean that you support ai bros right no that's not it i'm not a fan of them too it's just that you're both the same now right um yeah so i hopefully i don't uh create this kind of or gather this kind of audience in my own community you know i'm not saying be nuanced because that's so like wishy-washy what i'm saying is um just don't be don't go into freaking rage and if you want to comment comment and we, we, sometimes we disagree it's it's normal we can't always agree on every single issue uh but just try to avoid the, these people as much as you can because number one it's draining on your own energy and it takes away from your own uh work your own artwork your own process um but also these people will go nowhere i mean they will go nowhere i don't i, I don't want to be them imagine if i built like a a channel of like 500k subs and my audience is a bunch of like that i would feel like such a failure i don't mind having like my 10k subs i mean obviously it, it like you know what yeah. if people are genuine like the the comments i see now you know um where it's you know it's funny it's rational we talk about like feet and stuff like that where it's somewhat playful and we're not fucking um just fucking whoa, just lynching people to fucking oblivion and sometimes we disagree you know sometimes we disagree which is fine um i'd rather have this than like hordes of people who are just so fucking ugh. anyway <laughs> shit we've been talking for two hours man that was fun uh i guess i'm back and uh yeah i've talked about the major takeaways from this episode and hopefully you've gotten a few uh yeah don't wait don't wait for the world to change and do your thing that's it uh, just do your thing um focus uh you'll hear a lot of noise um people will say oh you don't really care uh you're you're not one of us you're not real um you're contributing to the problem it's all noise um and they keep saying oh we're we're, we're doing things from a, a genuine like at this point where it is right now I mean, in the end, you, you will decide how you see things. But as I see it, uh, there is no art community. So find artists you like, you associate with. And obviously, even before that, if you are an artist, and if you say you are one, then behave like one. Make sure you're stylus is in your hand make sure your pen or your brush is in your hand don't be one of these these people whose main thing is their fucking keyboard Ooh. i mean we do use our keyboard for our shortcuts right what i mean is don't be one of these these keyboard warriors if you want to say something say it via your art via your work you know not just what you um type in the comments right do the work uh tune out the noise and um try to be civil huh that's not 
through the hole. Ugh, fucking like lynch together. Right? Be civil. Um, and yeah, I'll see you in the next episode. And uh, yeah, bye. Bye.